Hey, Tim and Joel. Let's have a listen to the glossies and see what's happening. On screen. On screen. You know, I love this one slash hate this one. I actually really love this story. Now, mm-hmm. Blue Ivy, of course, the daughter of Beyonce and JC, she's recently turned 10 or is 10, mm-hmm. so fell into a hole this afternoon. Still getting all the tickets. Yeah, well, she's courtside at the NBA Finals in San Francisco. Don't know who played, don't know who won. Celtics and uh, the Golden State Warriors. Correct. Okay. Um, but the camera panned around and it just showed that Blue Ivy, no matter... You know, that she may be the daughter of these two very high-profile stars. She still gets embarrassed of Dad. So they pan onto him. The announcer at the game gives um, Jay-Z a big rap. He puts his arm around Blue Ivy and she kind of shrugs him off as 10-year-olds do, like, Dad, please do not embarrass me on the camera. It's very cute. Oh, she looks entitled and I don't think she's going to be a very nice person. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Jay Z oh in God. ages. You can't say that yeah, about because, a ten-year-old. Well, you know what? The late Tom Petty, um, I think it was the Grammys. His last Grammys before he died had to sit behind Blue Ivy. Tom so Petty, so rude. Oh no, that's fine. Bring her. <laughs> I think she's earned her right. She has not earned a thing. Yeah, she, she got does. lucky with her parents. Lucky. Yeah, she did get lucky with her parents. But imagine the life that she's now going to have to live as a result of what they have chosen. Let me put it into context. What if May goes to the Logies and Hugh Sheridan has to sit out? (laughs) (laughs) Hugh would be fine with that, No, but it's just an example. It's just an example. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Second glossy, what's happening here? Oh, nice flip around. You're doing very well. This intern, please. You're sweating. Um, (laughs) (laughs) That's your standard. You know, like, that's your signature piece. Take your hoodie off tomorrow. It'll be a bit cooler in here. <laughs> um, this is tragic news for us. Yes, the Wendy Williams show. One of our... Oh, there, there's her famous Dula screenshot. Peep went to Lizzo's after Grammy party. Dula Peep, by the way, was there with her man. <sighs> Uh, Wendy, some highlights. We absolutely love you. Um, it's ending after 13 years. I don't no. know if it was her choice, to be honest. Wasn't Sherry Shepard announced as her replacement last time, though? And then, and we haven't then she got back. Much no, more anyway. about that. Um, yeah. Replace Crazy with Crazy. Uh, the final episode will air this Friday. It's tragic. All right. Um, next glossy here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one of your favourites. What's oh, this? What's he doing? Sack. James Corden. Mm. Mm. Tell um, him what it's about and who you play. Yes, you're going to love this, Blackers. A petition has uh, been started to block James Corden from coming back to the UK. <laughs> oh, what now is in the US yes. and has been working there. Oh, okay. that's so good. Yes, the reason for exiling Corden <laughs> was listed as there was not enough uh, cringe in this small country for him to induce. Okay. I, got, I, that was, I saw a funny meme. Remember I read you that meme at lunch today from Rhiannon Shaw. Uh, and Rhiannon said, as a bisexual woman in a relationship with a man, I'm despised by the straight and LGBT plus communities alike. That's why this pride, I'm partnering with James Corden. <laughs> you got him. Bit of fun. <laughs> um, it's good to have a laugh. It's good to have a laugh, Kate. You should try it. <laughs> no, but in glossies. I am la- I'm just sitting back and listening because some of these stories I don't know. Oh, okay. It's, it's like flicking through my favourite magazine. Mm. Uh, isn't it? At the hairdressers. Yeah. High Life. Is Except that what, you're your favourite? Oh, yes, High Life. Is High Life about houses or about... <laughs> no, it's, it's about, about the Southern Highlands Granger. region of New South Wales. <laughs> Where you get it's your glorious. hooch from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hooch in the Highlands. This? Oh, yes. Huge news. Um, K-pop supergroup, BTS, yep. who I love. They've just announced their indefinite uh, hi- hiatus. Is that... Is that real? Why would they do that? They're the biggest band in the world. I mean? know. It's indefinite. Um, to pursue solo projects and learn to be one again. Um, they just uh, announced, well, they just celebrated, sorry, their ninth anniversary. Uh, oh, they've been around for that oh long, God, have they? Seriously. There's going to be a lot of tears. I wonder which one's going to end up with Chris Martin. <laughs> <laughs> after that big clip. Photo. All right, after five o'clock. What's something about the opposite sex you just don't get? Yes, we're going there. This is Kate, Tim and Joel.